Ten new PDF officers at Varian's ranks are expected to beef up the team overseeing the construction of the standard gauge railway, which has been stalling as a result of funding and negotiations. The military engineers have been away in China, attending specialized training in the construction and maintenance of the railway, which is expected to link Uganda to Kenya. They were welcomed by the Director General of the UPDF-run National Enterprise Corporation, Major General James Mujira. The soldiers' acquired skills and knowledge will be put to good use. Uh, Article 209, sub-Article D, of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, obligates the Uganda People's Defense Forces to engage in productive activities for the development of this country. So what we are doing now, even as UPDF, is in fulfillment of our constitutional duties and obligations. Major General Mujer also revealed that the plans are underway to construct a polytechnic institute in Toro District to help train more people in railway construction and maintenance. Uh, the railway engineering polytechnic is going to be based in Rubongi, that is in Tororo, in Rubongi Barracks. Uh, we have already visited the site with officials of Czech and they are comfortable with the site. So now they are in the process of designs. Now, my request was that the whole process be expedited so that we can achieve implementation uh, of the project. According to the Ministry of Works officials who are overseeing the railway construction works, negotiations to secure funds for the construction of the railway line are underway with the Exim Bank of China. The officials also revealed that the process of compensating people for land to allow the construction of the railway is almost complete in several districts. As I talk now, the land acquisition uh, is now in the, most of the district has been approved by uh, Chief Government Balawa. And the balance which we are doing now from Kampala, Mukono, is also being submitted. The Chinese company, China Harbor Engineering Company, was awarded the contract to construct the standard gauge railway. The initial cost of the construction in Uganda had been placed at $8.2 million per kilometer, leading to a total of $2.9 billion, meant to cover a stretch of 169 miles. Sohel Mugavi, NTV.